I'll walk you through the functionality of advanced scientific infix calculator. This is called infix because you type the operate operands and the operators in the way you would actually write down an arithmetic operation and this allows you to override the precedences using parentheses otherwise it just follows the natural operator precedence and you can type in um, equal sign or press equal sign to actually calculate an expression uh, this calculator operates in science fix degree grad and radian modes and let us um, discover each of them so you want to specify the number of digits so three now you type three and press science you want to specify the number of decimal points and you will say five decimal points we typed five and press fix so you want to go from degree to radian to grad this is how you can do it say we typed in a number and you want to add that to memory this is how you can do it and you can actually delete it using mc say you have a number in memory you can actually add another one uh, to what is already in the memory it's by m plus so you recover that or bring that to the display by saying mr memory read say we type in a number we want to subtract it from memory and mr this is what it is to clear memory this is what we do mc to add a number to statistical register we basically press sigma plus and we perform various statistical operations we can clear that up by sigma c say you type in a number and says you typed in six by mistake you want to delete the last digit this is how you can do it to clear up everything from the register this is how you can do it to clear up every everything you can actually do a c or clear so now let us get into some basic arithmetic operation say 22 uh, plus um, 3.6 and that's what it is uh, say minus 6 that's what it becomes say 56 times minus 11 uh, divided by 3.7 and minus that's what it becomes so we will do an exponential operation say 3 over 4 times 1 e 7 that's what it becomes say we um, multiply and sub subtract two numbers 8 times 9 uh, minus uh, 5 times 6 that's what it is so we multiply and divide say we have 3 divided by we use parenthesis so 5 times 9 so that's what it becomes so we use uh, let us do a arithmetic operation with parenthesis so 3 times so parenthesis starts 8 plus 7 um, times we start parenthesis so here 6 plus 9 so that's that and that's that and then that is the expression you saw how the parenthesis as a number went up and down as we did the operation say let us do a, an operation involving pi say calculate the volume of a sphere so 4 over 3 times pi times say r is the radius cube so that's what it is let us calculate some of the fractions so so 3 over 4 plus uh, 5 over 7 and that's what it is and now you want to simplify that this is how you do it so we want to add a real number to this say 1.52 so this is what it becomes now let us um, perform some percentages so 5 percent of 300 so 300 percent 5 and that's what it is so now let us perform some scientific operations so do some degree minute second calculation so 30 degree 
five minute uh, fifty five seconds. So one degree five minutes and five seconds. This is what it is thirty one degrees eleven minutes. So we want to add a real number to that three point six. So that's what it becomes. So now calculate the sign of a uh, so we can actually convert it into degree minute second. So sign of that. Okay. So now let us perform some more trigonometric operations. Say we are in uh, radian operation. So pi over eight. Um, so that's what it is, and uh, a sign of that. Okay. Now. Uh, we converted that to degree and that's what it becomes so we do a cos of that and now let us perform a grad operation so I put that into grad so 32 minus grad and we do a tan of that okay so let us do a inverse cos so 3 uh, root 3 over 2 uh, inverse cos let us convert from uh, degree, so this is in degree, radian to grad, and do that too, okay? And now, let us do some hyperbolic operations. So you can do that, say 4.6 hyperbolic sine. And now, let us do a hyperbolic inverse sine. Okay. Uh, Okay, 30 hyperbolic inverse sine. That's what we find. Let's do some logarithm operation. So 2.3 log x. So we can do a natural log of that. So we can do a e to the power x, 10 to the power x. And uh, let's do this. Uh, okay say 10 to the power 0. 0.5 10 uh, say 0. 0.6 10 to the power 0. 0.6 and that is basically 10 to the power plus we do 5 times e to the power minus 4 4 and this is e this is what it is okay now perform some cubes this is it cube root so say we have 45 and then we do uh, nth root 4 over 5 so we get Then uh, let us do some mix uh, cube roots. So three plus five times square root of nine. So that's what it is. And we do three two three four plus forties uh, square. That's what it becomes. And now we do a reciprocal one over four over five minus one over five, and that's that, and that's that. Uh, let us specify some of the scientific and fix. So let's see, we are performing in two decimal points. Uh, we want to have 2.3234 um, say times 2 and we want to actually round it okay so already round it 1.234 plus 1.235 that's also rounded. Okay. 
So now, let's clear up all that. Again, do a to fix 1.234. Plus one point two three four. That should be that. Okay, we see it on it. And uh, let us display some things in scientific mode. So we do two science two over three scientific mode. Coordinate conversions say polar to rectangular say 3 is the radius and your 60 degrees is our theta in this case so that's what becomes and because we have in that scientific mode let's clear that up 2 is our radius 60 is our theta Okay, uh, two polar to rectangular, sixty, and that gives us the radius. And in, if you press x to y, that gives you the degrees. Let us calculate the from convert from rectangular to polar. So one is rectangular five. That becomes the radius and then this becomes the degree okay let us do permutation so 8 permutation and let us do combination uh, 12 5 that becomes that 12 uh, this is the permutation and that becomes that and let us do some statistical operation so 14 added 8 added 9 added so now three numbers um, this is the sample variance average sum square sample standard deviation um, this is the sum of x okay with this we pretty much covered the advanced scientific calculator in fixed calculator thank you very much